Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things with my final chicks card. Libby and I got to craft today. It was pretty spontaneous and I am very happy with my final project. We did use a pin, but I did stray pretty far from it. I will include the pin on my blog article as I always do, wanting to show you guys what kinds of things inspire me. Before I show the card, though, I have to uh, share an organization tip. So, hey, birthday chick and hey, chick, they're all coordinating. They have, this is from 2017 Celebration, it has been returned as a special edition. It is available online but isn't in any catalog. It did not come with dies originally, but they have made a set of dies. Hey, birthday chick came in the mini catalog. and has dies to go with it and it is carrying over into the annual catalog so i get these sets i'm playing around with them i'm cutting die cuts and i immediately realize hmm how am i going to know for sure here's the dice for the birthday set it's a sack of grain a fence some chicken scratchings a little banner a bow, some birthdayish things, the three main bird shapes to die cut them out. Then I was playing with this stamp set. It has its three bird die cuts, but I realized I'm not going to keep track of which of these corn, um, the birdhouse, this style of fence. You know, I'm just not going to keep track of which die cuts go with which set. And I would like to keep them organized. So what I did is I went online using Pinterest and found some that I liked, some uh, diagrams. Somebody had taken the Stampin' Up! die images and had added the dimensions of the dies to it, which I thought was really cool. So I'm just suggesting when you use these dies and you intermix them and co-mingle them with other similar dies because there's also the Ride the Range set which has the horse and the cows and it also has barnyard theme items so if you get all three sets going it could easily be die chaos when you're trying to put them all away so I have printed and inserted the uh, version of the die sheet with the dimensions for each of the stamp sets and in the stamp and die cases so that I don't go crazy trying to match them back with who they belong to. So that's my tip on that. And now I will get to sharing the project I made. I did not use all four of the, these are watercolor pencil colored. I used three of the four but I still think it came out very cute. It has some retiring products. Here it is. The Playing With Patterns DSP is retiring. The um, Misty Moonlight trim, which is actually Baker's Twine wrapped in silver, and I pulled out the blue for this it's because I just wanted the blue and that is not retiring the misty moonlight cardstock is not retiring and the sequins are retiring they're called artistry blooms sequins and the scripty embossing folder that I use is retiring which makes me very sad this was just a really fun project and the I changed some of the shapes and, and the way the different pieces fit. I really wanted the th all three of my birds. A fourth one just was too many. It didn't quite fit. I suppose it could have fit up here, but it just seemed like it was getting a little too crowded. I also do not often shadow die cuts, and I originally cut the two die cuts. The Happy Birthday in White is on uh, thick cardstock, and I was going to use it to pop up the Calypso Coral happy birthday so it popped up higher but it kind of got lost between the scripty and the silver oh and the silver foil is retiring 
So with the chicken wire behind it, it really needed both layers to shadow to be able to make the happy birthday stand out. And the Calypso coral was just not a strong enough color. So that's why I went with white. And I had already decided I wanted to trim down the misty moonlight and have a white bordered edge from the base. And I used the second largest scalloped die from the layering ovals set. And that really about is about it. You've already watched the coloring. I did a real time coloring uh, videos last week. I will link to the series. It was actually a three part series and I colored this was in part two. So I will link to part two of the video so you can see how I colored these fun guys or gals could be either. And I didn't um, take dimensions down for the strip. I believe let's use this down here to kind of eyeball it. It looks like it is, I'm going to say seven eighths, but I just really uh, cut this strip by eye to what thickness I liked. I actually had it thicker. And uh, when I popped this guy, this chick underneath, I needed to have a little more breathing room for him. So I, I cut off about maybe a little more than an eighth of an inch off of the thickness that I was going to go with. So I thought this card came out really cute and I can't wait for uh, finding the exact right person who I know will appreciate it. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me about this project or the storage idea of adding the die cut printout from the Stampin' Up! website, or like I did, find one that has dimensions on it, um, let me know. I will have the blog article that has all of the retiring products as well as the current products and the ones carrying over. And it will, those products will drop off after May 3rd. So if you go on there after May 3rd and you try to find anything that has retired, it will no longer show for you. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so you can be notified when I drop more videos. Thanks for watching.